Hi, welcome to Cruising with Danny. My name's Danny, and I'm a cruise ship dancer. I want to share my thoughts, insights, and stories with you guys. Each week, I'll have new content and ideas to discuss. If you're new or returning, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Hi, guys. Welcome to week three. Thanks for joining me. This week, we're going to be talking about when I was offered a contract offer as a cruise ship dancer. Again, these episodes are up on my blog as blog posts. If you want to read and follow along, I'll link that down below. Otherwise, just enjoy and continue to listen. So it's official. I was offered a contract and I am happier than a camel on hump day. I can't wipe this beaming grin off my face. It was a long time waiting for the actual paperwork and contract to arrive. I emailed the cruise company asking for updates and details at least once a month. Although they told me they had something in store for me nearly two months after the audition, it took almost an entire year on their list to finally come to the top. My advice from this experience is to educate yourself with patience and start working hard to make your dreams come true. I will say that it was far worth the nail biting and perseverance. I turned down small offers here and there because I knew, just as I stated at the end of each of my email interactions, This company was my number one choice for employment. It is so surreal now that I have the offer in writing. I am ecstatic to set sail on a new adventure this upcoming, well, who knows. Because of COVID, my contract has been delayed. I know I'm not the only one who has been affected by COVID. The pandemic has put some real delays on things this year. In the meantime, I've been trying to stay in shape, working out, spending quality time with friends and family, and trying to learn some choreography from the actual ship that I'll be sailing on. Regardless, one way I plan to update my followers is through this blog, once we get back to sailing. So feel free to subscribe because there is a lot in store. I honestly believe great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance. I can't thank my parents, friends, family, professors, and teachers enough for their constant support and encouragement. Don't forget, you can be the person that makes your dreams come true. You just have to get up and start chasing them. Thanks for listening this week. If you have any ideas, questions, or discussions, feel free to comment them down below. I've also linked my blog down in the description if you want to check it out. If you're new, welcome. Check out my first episode explaining how this series got started. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for sailing with me. We'll chat real soon.